Hey everybody, this is Mobile 12 here to help quench that knowledge thirst. For this video, I'll be specifically continuing my discussion on acid derivatives. I was supposed to talk about this topic last week, but like I said and I told you guys, I was extremely busy so I didn't have any time to get to it. But this week, I'm definitely going to finish up um, the this discussion on amides. Okay, so again, um, I'll be talking about amides, the type of acid derivative. Quick little update though. Uh, Facebook fan page link in the description box below. Check it out. Like the fan page. Tell your friends and family about it. Show some uh, love and support for your boy. Um, anything else? Let's see. Um, oh yeah, if you have any specific questions, feel free to post them on my fan page. Okay, and hopefully I'll get to it and answer those questions. Other than that, let's get started with our discussion. So again, we're focusing on three reactions that deals and focus with amides. Okay, so. Uh, an amide typically takes the structure that I've shown here in each and every one of these starting materials. Um, you have this R group which represents a carbon group. You have a carbonyl and a nitrogen portion of it. Okay. Now, there's different types of amides. Okay. There's primary, secondary, tertiary style amides. And that all depends on the number of carbons you have attached to the nitrogen right here. Now, realize that not all amides are going to take the structure that I've shown here. This portion of it is not always going to be the same. It's not always going to be NH2. You could have different carb. You could have a carbon group attached to it. Um, for example, you could have something that looks like this. We could have two methyl groups hanging off it as well, um, and that is still considered an amide. And again. Um, based on the level of substitution, uh, based on the level of carbon groups you have at that position attached to nitrogen, it could be considered a primary, secondary, tertiary style amide. Okay? So again, now if we had this, this too is considered an amide. Okay? But just for consistency's sake, we'll be focusing on this style amide. Okay? Um, and that's pretty much it in regards to um, the different forms of uh, the different form an amide can take. Um, and again, let's just focus on our on this discussion on reactions. Again, I'm not going to go through the reaction mechanism because that is not my goal. Um, eventually, in the near future, I'll make a video on some of these reaction mechanisms. But again, for this video, I'll be focusing on how to go from starting material to product. Okay, and how can you draw nice and quickly? So the first problem: you have an amide reacting with SOCl2. SOCl2 is known as thionyl chloride. This guy right here is known as thionyl chloride. I could try to spell it out for you, but you know that's always going to be a tr some trouble for me. Thi, let me sound it out. Thionyl. Oh my goodness, this is going to be bad. I'm not going to embarrass myself. Hold on one second. I'm going to quickly check this up. Thionyl. Thionyl. Okay. See, I had an idea. Um, thionyl chloride. All right, that's thionyl chloride right there, and um, it's going to react with this amide, and you're going to generate something known as a nitrile. A nitrile is a compound that typically looks like this. This is a very generic form of a nitrile. It's basically a carbon nitrogen triple triple bond, and to that carbon, you have another type of carbon group attached to it. So that's known as a nitrile. So in this first reaction, you're going to form a nitrile. So in order to form your nitrile, all you have to do is get rid of the double bonded O, get rid of both H's, and add two extra bonds between this carbon and nitrogen. Okay? So again, draw your starting material again without the double bonded. I'm going to draw like this. Hold on a second. I'm going to draw like this right we got rid of the double bonded O we got rid of both H's and now we're going to add two bonds between the carbon and nitrogen and that is a product you form it's known as a nitrile very simple and straightforward and that's the first reaction so again whenever you react an amide and thionyl chloride you get a nitrile now typically in order for this reaction to occur you would need a primary amide 
and this is specifically a primary amide. Um, it cannot be, you cannot have any carbon groups attached to the nitrogen, okay? That's just some type of information you need to be aware. It, this reaction specifically works best with primary amides, okay? So this is specifically a primary amide in this first case, okay? Uh, this is also a primary amide, but this reaction could work with primary, secondary, or even tertiary amides, okay? So on and so forth. So it doesn't always have to be primary. Only in this first case, the amide starting material has to be primary. And how do we know it's primary? Well, the nitrogen is attached to one carbon group, thus making it primary. So the second reaction we have is a amide reacting with lithium aluminum hydride, LiAlH4. And in the second step, we have this proton sources, proton workup. Um, now, this is a very straightforward reaction. Um, in this case, this amide does not have to be primary, nor does it have to be secondary, nor does it have to be tertiary. There's no specifications in regards to it has to be one type of amide. It could be any type of amide. Um, and it reacts with lithium aluminum hydride, again, and it has a second step of a proton source. Um, and it's a reduction. So in order for us to draw our product, first off, you need to realize in this case that the product that you form is known as a amine. Okay, you guys should all be familiar with amine, amines and what structure they typically look take. Okay. In this case, in order to draw a product, all we have to do is very straightforward, extremely simple, is draw the starting material without the double bonded O, and we get our product. And that's it. So again, I didn't draw the skeletal structure of this. That's typically the way I like to draw it, but I wanted to show you the H's and all that good stuff. Again, lithium aluminum hydride is a source of hydride ions, and through the course of the me mechanism, um, you lose a double bonded O characteristic uh, by adding those hydride ions to that carbon of that carbonyl, and that's where you see these two H's. Um, again, lithium aluminum hydride is a source of two hydride ions. Um, so again, you form this amine, okay? So this is known as a nitrile. This guy is known as a nitrile. This is known as a amine. Okay, and that's the NH2. I shouldn't have. Um, that's the NH2. Um, and in our third, and that's basically it for the second reaction. And in the third and final reaction, we have a amide. Again, it doesn't have to be. Um, I mean, there's no specification that it has to be one style of amides. But nonetheless, you have an amide um, that reacts under acidic conditions or under basic conditions. Okay? So acidic or basic conditions. We have water present in each and every one of those conditions, right? And this reaction generates a carboxylic acid. Very straightforward. Replace the NH2 with an OH. And our product looks like this. In this case, I'll draw the skeletal structure. And there's our product. Again, this is a carboxylic acid. And it's as simple as that. And those are the three reactions you guys should be extremely comfortable and familiar, familiar with in regards to um, amides. And that's pretty much it. Again, let me do a quick little run through of all three. Um, first reaction you have, actually before I do, let me get, drink some tea. Hold on one second. My big T fan, okay? So again, the first reaction we have a amide. It has to be primary. I'll make a note here. It has to be primary. A primary amide. You have a primary amide reacting with thionyl chloride. You get a nitrile, okay? All you have to do to draw the product is get rid of, uh, get rid of the, um, you have to get rid of the double bonded O, get rid of the two H's, and increase the bond between carbon and nitrogen by an extra two, okay? So you get three bonds between carbon and nitrogen. So you get a nitrile. The second reaction, you have a amide. There's no specification that it has to be primary, secondary, or tertiary. It could be either one of those guys. React it with lithium aluminum hydride, which is a reducing agent with a proton source. In the second step, you get an amine. In order to draw the product, you get rid of the double bonded character, 
and that's it and you get your product you could replace it with two H's I mean you you replace it with two H's that double bonded oh um, the third reaction is you have an amide again there's no specifications as to which type of amide it has to be um, it's pretty free as far as it can be primary secondary or tertiary um, we have under acidic conditions this amide reacting or under basic conditions um, in the presence of water and we get a carboxylic acid we replace the NH2 with the OH group and we get our acid and that's pretty much it so stay tuned for the next part where I go over some examples um, implementing some of these reactions into those examples okay so stay tuned and uh, I'll be back with you guys in a second